welcome back to Modern Classic. I'm your host, Pete Tubbs. Now that we're right in the thick of a new year, there's going to be tons of anticipated movies coming out very soon. The rush of movie going goodness starts this weekend with four movies to quench all types of genre tastes. So without further ado, buy some tickets, get some popcorn, and settle in this week on Modern Classic. First up, we have a remake of sorts of the 2001 film, What Women Want, called What Men Want. This one stars Taraji P. Henson as a sports agent who suddenly gains the power to hear men's thoughts and uses this to her advantage as she races to find the next NBA superstar. This one has not been screened for critics and therefore has no early reviews, so go at your own risk. Hopefully, however, the cast, consisting of Henson, Richard Roundtree, Tracy Morgan, and Shaquille O'Neal himself, could keep this one afloat. Next up, we have the new horror thriller, Prodigy, which sees Taylor Schilling playing a mother who fears that her young son is possessed by an evil force. The Prodigy looks creepy enough to draw an audience, but this one hasn't been screened for critics either, so the quality is sort of a 50-50 chance. It is being directed by Nicholas McCarthy, however, who's shown promise in the past with 2016's Holidays and 2012's The Pact. So who knows, maybe this one will be able to prove its worth in Screams this weekend. The third release for the weekend is Liam Neeson's new vehicle, Cold Pursuit. The dark comedy action film follows a father who searches for justice after his son is killed. Currently at 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, this one looks to be a highlight of Liam Neeson's later career and promises brutal violence along with irreverent humor. Lastly, we have the much-anticipated The Lego Movie 2, the second part. The sequel to the surprise smash hit of 2014 follows Chris Pratt's Emmett as he teams up with Elizabeth Banks' Lucy and Will Arnett's Batman to unexplored worlds to save their beloved town. With a stacked voice cast and inspired visuals, the second part currently sits at 92% on Rotten Tomatoes and looks to be another winner for Warner Brothers. So there you have it. These four movies have got most of the quadrants covered and at least one is sure to speak to America's interest this weekend. Be sure to come back next week for more entertainment news and updates. This has been Pistol Pete Tubbs with Modern Classic.